children how are you all welcome to evs class in the previous class we were studying about more about animals yes children have you recalled the topic yes in the previous class we have studied how animals move so today we are going to study about animals eat food so eating habits of animals let us see this now animals can be divided into three groups depending on the food they eat yes children animals can be divided into three groups depending on the food they eat some animals like cows buffaloes and goats eat only plants and their parts they are plant eating animals can you see this goat yes this is one of the example for plant eating animals what is meant by plant eating animals animals which eat only plants and their parts we will call them as plant eating animals okay now let us see the second category some animals like lions tigers vultures and eagles eat the flesh of other animals they eat the only flesh they are called flesh eating animals once again some animals like lions tigers vultures and eagles eat the flesh of other animals they are called flesh eating animals now see the another kind of animals that is there are another group of animals that eats both plants and flesh here both the plants and flesh of other animals these groups includes like bears cows and human beings we will call them as omnivores see children some new terms are uh, we can learn about new terms here you have to remember plant eating animals we will call it as herbivores animal that is flesh eating animals we will call them as carnivores the animals which eat both plants and animals we will call them as omnivores let us see children so how many categories these animals are divided children according to what they eat herbivores carnivores omnivores just you have to remember their eating habits see this herbivores these animals eat plants so they are called as plant eating animals see here yes sheep zebra cow buffaloes and many other examples now see this animal eating that is flesh eating animals they are called as carnivores these animals eat other animals see here lion tiger spider vultures all these are carnivores see the third one that is the animals which can eat both plants and animals we will call them as omnivores okay children these are new terms just recall it no problem okay now examples hedgehogs chicken that is hen fox wild boar etc okay bear also best example for omnivores okay children once again let us recall so based on their eating habits animals are divided into three types how many types three types first category plant eating animals that is herbivores second category flesh eating animals that is called carnivores third category both plant and animals plant and flesh of other animals we will call them as omnivores yes children very good so by their eating habits animals are divided into how many types 
Yes, three types. Plant eating animals, flesh eating animals, both plant and flesh eating animals. So these are the examples. Now see these pictures, how beautifully they are divided into three types. See herbivores, that is plant eating animals, carnivores, flesh eating animals, omnivores, both the plants and animals. See the pictures once again? Yes, zebra, cow, elephant, giraffe, now see rabbit and many other examples are there. They come under herbivores. Just see the new terms, okay? Now carnivores, flesh-eating animals, lion, tiger, crocodile, see your snake. All these are carnivores, flesh-eating animals. Now omnivores, plants plus flesh. We'll call them as omnivores. See here bear, pig, human beings, hen, and so many other examples. Did you understand children? Very simple. Now let us see one AV and let us discuss more about these herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Okay. So what is our today's topic? What we are going to learn new things that is what plants eat according to their food habits. They are divided into three types. Once again, let us watch the video and let us see what are what are the animals coming under herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores? Okay, children, let us see. So grouping animals by what they eat. So by what they eat, we can see different kinds of animals. How many main groups are there, children? Three groups. Now see this herbivores. Herbivores are the animals that eat plants only plants they can have wide flat teeth for grazing on grass or break to open nuts yes beaks they'll be having beaks to open and break the nuts see here elephant deer rabbits now see here carnivores so carnivores are animals that only eat meat they get this meat from other animals they can have sharp teeth for chewing the meat or claws or beaks for riping it. Now see here, lion, cat, yes, you can see fox. These are carnivorous animals. Now omnivorous animals. Omnivorous animals are animals that eat both plants and meat. Yes, human beings hedgehogs, now bears. All these are good examples for omnivores. Okay, children. Now, see here, when small exercise is given, sort the animals. So you can see the figures. Now you should categorize into herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Identify children, what are the animals comes under which category? Just observe. Okay, later we will discuss about the answers. See here, herbivores, rabbit, you see carnivores, see here omnivores, human beings, hedgehogs, yeah, good. Deer, rabbit or herbivores, have you seen all these? Yes. Yes, thank you.